Hi folks, uh, in this session we're going to be covering um, circles in geometrical con context. Uh, so let's get started. So here's a question. Determine the equation of the circles touching the y-axis at 0, 3 with radius 2. So let's just draw a set of axes real quickly. Uh, now, it's touching the y-axis at 0, 3. So that's this point right here. Now also notice in the in the question it actually says circles. This is because you could potentially have two circles. Your first circle could be this here where it's based on the right hand side uh, and the second circle could be this red circle which is on the left hand side. And as you can see both of them are touching the uh, y-axis at 0, 3 and they both have a radius of 2. Which means we could work out the center of the green circle which is going to be 2, 3. So we can actually write the equation of the green circle because the center is at 2, 3. Center is at 2, 3. We could say the green circle is x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared. And it has a radius of 2, so it's going to be 2 squared, which is equal to 4. And now for the red circle, you will notice that the center is actually at minus 2, 3. So the center is at minus 2, 3, which means the equation for this would be x plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared, and the radius is still 4, sorry, not 4, uh, 2, so 2 squared is 4. Okay, let's have a look at a different type of question now. Alright, in this question, it says determine the equation of the circle with minus 2, 4 to, to 6, negative 2 as diameter. So as usual, I just want to draw a quick set of axes. So the first point that I'm going to plot is negative 2, 4. The second point that I'm going to plot is 6, negative 2 which is here. Now this is a diameter of the of the circle which means you should get a circle that looks something like this. Alright, now we want to try and find the equation of this. Now I'm going to go to the next slide just to um, have a bit more working room here and I'll show you guys how to work out the equation of the circle. Now if you remember Pythagoras then this should be pretty simple or if you've done coordinate geometry, a bit of coordinate geometry this is actually, um, you can just use some rules from there. I'll show you guys how. So what I've done here is um, actually let's go back mm. now let's, let's leave it like this, I mean you've got the two points there uh, and we can basically see that it, it forms a right angle triangle inside here so, we can work out the diameter by working out the hypotenuse of this triangle. Now, the base of the triangle is 1, 2, 3, it's going to be 8. And the height of the triangle is going to be 6. So, to work out the hypotenuse, well, that's 8 squared plus 6 squared, which equals 100. And square root of 100 equals 10. Therefore, radius is equal to 5. Now to work out the center of this particular circle we need to find the midpoint of this coordinate here and this coordinate here. We need to find the midpoint of this. So I've just written down the two coordinates minus 2, 4 and 6, negative 2. And now I'm going to work out the midpoint of these two points here. Mm -hmm. And that's of course 6 plus minus 2 divided by 2, which is the x part of it, and negative 2 minus 4. Sorry, that should be negative 2 plus 4. So the midpoint here is going to be 4 divided by 2, which is 2, 
and here it's going to be 1. So 2, 1. Well, as you can see, my diagram is not the best of diagrams, but that's where the center of the circle is. Okay, so if that's the center of the circle, then we'd have the equation, which is basically x minus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 25. Alright guys, that's some of the ideas. Um, hopefully you picked up some, some ideas from here. Alright, thanks for watching.